Hi there, in this video we're going to learn basic concepts of Human Machine Interface, or HMI. HMIs utilized in the industrial context, are mostly screens or touch screens, that connect users to machines, systems, or devices. After a short introduction, we'll see how factory TalkView software can connect to a controller. Also it will be used to design an HMI screen. Actually, I'll use my computer as an HMI station. Then, we'll see how an HMI device like mine, can be programmed and connect to a controller. This HMI is programmed by Easy Builder 8000 software. Note that, there are a lot of HMI's devices from different vendors. Each HMI device has a specified software to design appropriate screens. But if you learn one of them, you will be able to use others easily. I hope basic concepts which will be told during using these two softwares, help you to work with others HMIs too. In the next video, we'll see an applicable HMI screen, using factory I.O. software. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content, I have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI and microcontroller based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Alright, let's see the industrial automation pyramid again. As you know, field level equipment can be controlled by a PLC. So, all necessary information can be found inside the PLC memory. Besides PLCs, HMI devices can be used. HMIs translate complex process information inside the PLC, into usable and actionable information. HMIs can be used to visually display data, monitor machine inputs outputs, track production time, trends, tags and so on. Similar to how you would interact with your air conditioning system to check and control the temperature in your house, an operator might use an HMI to check and control the temperature of an industrial water tank, or to see if a certain pump in the facility is currently running. Note that, computers can be used as an HMI station too. In this video, first I'll use factory TalkView software to design a simple HMI screen inside the computer. Then, I'll program my HMI devices using a USB cable, and connect to my PLC via a serial connection. My HMI model is this, and can be programmed by Easy Builder 8000 software. First, let's learn factory TalkView software. Here is a simple program, which has been transferred to my PLC. This digital input enables this timer, and this one, turn on this digital output. Naturally, an HMI cannot change the appeared voltage on an input module, but it can change PLC memory. So, I will use this internal tag to turn on the output from the HMI. In previous lessons, like the 17th video, we have learned how an HMI screen can be designed by factory TalkView software, and also how this software can be connected to a virtual controller. If you remember we used that to monitor and control the traffic light project. Now, I want to monitor and control this simple program, using my controller. So, let me open factory TalkView software. First I need to create a new project and select its name. Usually, each HMI designing software has a screen as the main or starter screen. HMIs will start their work from this screen. As you see, here are some objects, which can be used to design an appropriate screen. Let me add this object, momentary push button. We can change each inserted object's properties, like its size, color, and so on. As you see, the inserted push button has three states. Now, I'm changing their color and text. Well, here are several properties that can be changed, 
but the main part for each object is its connection settings. Here, I can connect the inserted momentary push button, to a tag of PLC memory. Like connection of a real push button to a real digital input address. So, in each software to design HMI screens, there is a part to define its connection settings. Usually, if both HMI and controller devices belong to the same provider, then they can be connected together easily. As you know, Rockwell Automation is a provider of industrial automation and information technology. Brands include Allen Bradley and Factory Talk Software. Here, I can define a connection name. On the right side, I can see all connected controllers. That's similar to our Slink software, which has been explained and used for Allen Bradley PLCs. So, here, I can select the desired controller easily, and connect factory talk view software to my controller. Now, let me connect the inserted momentary push button inside the main screen, to a tag of the PLC program. First, I click on refresh all folders. Now, I can connect the inserted momentary push button to a boolean tag, inside the program. Here are my real input outputs addresses of my hardware. Let me select this tag. From HMI. If you remember, I used this tag to turn on the first digital output. Alright, usually each software has an image library, to design an appropriate HMI screen. Now, I want to add two green and red lights to my HMI screen, to display the first digital output state. Alright, let me change the inserted green light size. Note that, some effects or animations such as moving and visibility, can be used based on the inserted element. Now, let me select visibility under the animation menu. I want to depend the visibility of inserted lights on the first digital output state. When the first digital output is off, the green light must appear. In another word, when the first digital output is on, the green light must be invisible. Similarly, when the first digital output is on, the red light must appear. Otherwise, it will be invisible. Alright, until now. We have seen how a boolean tag can be changed by an HMI screen, or see its state. Another data type is integer number. So, let me insert a numeric display into my screen. Let's use default settings for the inserted numeric display, and connect it to the accumulator value, of the inserted timer inside the PLC program. So it will display the timer time in milliseconds. Also, I can change numeric data from the HMI screen. So, I need to use this object. Numeric input enable. Let me connect it to the preset value of the timer. So, I will be able to change the preset timer value. Until now. You have seen how numeric data can be changed by an HMI screen or see its value. Let's test the design screen. Alright, let me have a better view of my PLC, its program, and the HMI screen. First, let me activate the use timer inside the PLC program. Well. The timer time can be monitored on the HMI screen.
Now, let me disable the timer, and press this push button, to turn on the first digital output. Also, I can use this momentary push button inside the HMI screen, to turn on the output. Finally, if I click here, a window will appear to enter a number, which will be stored as the timer's preset value. Well, this is a simple HMI screen designed by Factory TalkView software. Here, I used my computer as an HMI station, to monitor and control the PLC program. Also, I have an HMI device, utilized for industrial processes. Its model is this. Note that, each HMI devices need a specified software. My HMI can be programmed by Easy Builder 8000 software. Let's see how a screen can be designed for this HMI type, and connect that to my PLC. First, I must launch Easy Builder Project Manager. My HMI belongs to iSeries type, and that's connected to my computer, using a USB cable. Also, it supports a serial port. I will use it to make a connection between the HMI and my controller serial port. First, let me reboot my HMI to ensure the connection is detected. The appeared window gets us some choices, like download or upload a project. First let me click here, to launch the Easy Builder 8000 software, to design an HMI screen. Let's create a new project. Here, I select my HMI model, let's use a template for the new project. As I mentioned before, a main part of designing HMI screens is connection settings. By default, the HMI is connected to itself. It means you can use the internal HMI memory. Now, let me create a connection between my HMI and PLC. As you see, here is a list of different types of PLCs, from vast number of manufacturers. Based on my PLC, I must go to the Rockwell Automation, after that, select the first choice. Here, I determine the connection type between my PLC and HMI. I'm using a serial cable. So, let's select the RS-232. Note that, my CPU has a serial port. Well, the connection settings can be modified, but let's use its default settings. Note that, some PLC types, like SLC500 or Micrologix1500, which has been explained before, use predefined addresses. For example, the first Boolean memory address is this, B3 colon 0 slash 0. So, I can use this format to use each PLC memory or address, inside the HMI screen. But, I define and use some tags inside my PLC program, which don't follow any format. So, I need to import them into the HMI. Inside the PLC program, these tags were defined before. Now, let me define another tag. The state of this tag is equal to this digital output. So, I can use this tag inside my HMI screen, to display the output state. Now, let me transfer the modified program to my PLC. Well, I can change my controller mode to run mode, and test the program. Let me skip it. The program logic is simple. Now, I want to copy the defined tags, like these tags inside the program tags table, in my HMI screen. First, I must right click on this folder and select export tags. Also, I can do that for the controller tags table. Here, I can determine the name, and also where tags must be exported. Here, let me select all of them, and click on export. 
Tags will be stored on my computer. Now, let's back to Easy Builder 8000 software. Here, I click on Import Tags, and select this file, Stored Tags on my computer. Then I click on Open. This message says tags are imported successfully. Like factory talk view software, here are many objects that can be used to design an HMI screen. Let me insert a toggle switch object. First let me connect it to an tag of my PLC program. Now, let me select a shape for that. Now, I use this object, to display the first digital output state. So, let me connect it to its related tag. Here, I can select a shape for that. Now, let me add a numeric object, and connect it to the timer's preset value. Similarly, let's use another numeric object to display the timer time. Now, let me compile the design screen, to ensure there isn't any error. Now, let me download the design screen to my HMI, using its USB cable. As you see, the design screen has been loaded on the HMI. Let's have a better view of the PLC program and my HMI. Well, I can turn on or off the output from the HMI screen. Also, if I activate the timer, I can see its accumulator value on the HMI. Also I can change the pressed time value, using this window. I hope you have learned basic concepts about HMIs, during this video. Note that, HMIs are widely used in various industries. And also, they have more capabilities than the two mentioned projects. In the next video, we will do a more complex project using factory IO software. Thanks for watching my content. If you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.